One tip I would give to any beginner Photoshop user would be learning how to do more with adjustment layers than just adjust and to start using them to paint. I'm Abby Esparza with photomanipulation.com and today I have an incredibly simple uh, and super quick trick. Typically I use it to create a paint like texture, a face paint, war paint, acrylic paint, think imperfectly slapped on goop. However, when stripped down to its basics, it can be used to create a lovely base for makeup. And that is what we'll be doing today for our geisha inspired makeup. We have our model all prepped and ready to go. I'm going to turn off her color grade and we're going to start with the, the face makeup. Above our subject, we're going to create a new group called face makeup and add a layer mask. Before messing with the layer mask, we're going to be creating three adjustment layers and placing all of them into this group. So starting with a black and white adjustment layer. The default settings, nothing fancy. Next, a color balance layer. Now this layer settings will 100% depend on the ambient lighting of your image. Our environment here is pretty warm with a lot of oranges and pinks. So I'm going to go with negative 19 green, a negative 11 blue, and then bring in a bit of cyan with a negative four red. If you feel you have a very neutral environment, I suggest adding just a hint of blue to your white uh, if you want it to seem ultra white or a hint of a yellow if you want it to appear more natural. Uh, fun fact, the same rule kind of goes with teeth. But this is the second time I've made this image, so I already know my settings. Realistically, you'll likely have to adjust this as you go, which is no biggie. That's partly why we use adjustment layers in the first place. So uh, speaking of, next we want a brightness contrast adjustment layer. I like to pump up the brightness for white bases and then lower the contrast. This will make the whites seem whiter and a bit more matte. Uh, but just spitball your numbers for now. So let's go back to our group's layer mask and control I to invert. Here's where the whole painting with adjustment layers comes in. We want to grab a painterly brush. I'll link my same brush down in the description. And then we're going to start to apply the face makeup by masking with white. A geisha's face makeup is usually pretty flawless, but I'm going to leave in some texture and patchiness just so you can see how you might incorporate some texture onto white foundation if that is more so the look you want. Other than the default round brushes, this is one of my most used brushes. It gives you a nice amount of texture that you can then build up to be solid if that's what you want, but it still has a nice sharp edge, which comes in handy for masking around the eyes or the mouth area here. You will see me hit most of my masked edges with the smudge tool. That's because I don't like overly sharp edges, but that's just personal preference. From what I've seen, a geisha's face makeup doesn't go into the hairline, so you can lower the brush's flow rate to create that blended out foundation effect. Next up, we have eyeliner. For the more precise makeup, we'll be using gradient adjustment layers, which I love for layering on some color. But let's start by creating a black gradient map. We want it to go from a solid black to a dark gray. This will ensure there is still some dimension in the eyeliner and keep it from looking overly black. To help bring even more detail into that eyeliner, however, let's adjust the blend if settings. Blend if will be your absolute best friend when applying any kind of skin effect. In this case, we want the highlights to just barely peek through. So let's hold down alt to drag and split the toggles, moving the left half to the middle and the right half to the left, though not quite as much. Basically, we want a very, very small amount of the skin's highlight to shine through the eyeliner, just so it doesn't seem flat. With our blend if dialed in, we just mask in the eyeliner just like we did with the foundation. I like using a hard round brush when doing eyeliner, nothing fancy. And we're just going to go with a very skinny winged eyeliner to enhance the natural eye shape. We're also going to end up running some of this black into the eyebrows, uh, giving them a bit more definition. Though I did opt to keep her original brow shape, uh, just adding in some darkness to the inner brow area.
Now, if you want more of our model here, she's a 3D render from Neostock's AI Gen line of CG models uh, with multiple angles and even more importantly, various expressions, no more dead-eyed stares in the space. And the best part, they're PNGs, so they're already extracted. Check her out and more over on Neostock.com. But back to the makeup, because finally we're getting to one of the more iconic elements of a geisha's makeup, which in my opinion is the monochrome red seen on the lips, eyes, and running through the eyebrows. So let's create another gradient map layer, creating a three point blue red gradient. I'll provide both this gradient and the black gradient for you to download. Uh, yeah, they're super easy to recreate, but I hate replicating gradients myself. It's so tedious and annoying. And while you may need to adjust the red gradient to fit your specific subject, uh, this is really a lovely red lip jumping off point. But again, let's invert that gradient map and just paint. Uh, for the makeup shape, I just use references from real modern day geishas. I certainly tried to be accurate, but just like in real life, me and makeup symmetry do not get along. Luckily, the smudge tool is excellent for fixing symmetry problems and creating uh, softer blends. You don't have to use this technique for makeup or face paint. It's also great for any kind of skin markings or coloring, uh, which sounds weird, but I'm thinking like fantasy or alien creatures or markings inspired by animals and insects. If you try it, go ahead and tag me in it, please. I love seeing it. And if you liked this video, you might just like my how-to on creating an e-girl inspired makeup look. A lot of tricks you can mix and match with that one. But for now, I'm Abby Esparza with photomanipulation.com. See you next time.